To kick us off, we have none other than Laura Marcela Aguirre Martinez from the Youth Advisory Panel at the Lancet Child and Adolescent Health with a presentation on a future for our world's children, the power of youth advocacy. Laura, over to you. Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope you can hear me and you can uh, watch me adequately. Is that okay? Okay, so we can go on with the slides, please. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you, Daniel, Kimberly, and all the Healthy Caribbean Coalition team for the invitation. Uh, my name is Laura Marcela Martinez, and I am Afro-Latin woman. Uh, not a few years ago, I was a girl. Uh, but because I am no longer a child, but a young adult, I must say that I'm a member of the Yoda Advisory Panel from the Lancet uh, Child and Adolescent Health. And I'm in the last year, actually, I'm in the last week of medical school uh, in Universidad del Valle. This is in Cali, Colombia. Um, for sure, I am Colombian, and that's right, that's the land of Encanto. And that's why today I will tell you why we should talk about Bruno. Despite what some said, we really uh, need to talk about Bruno. So let's go on with the slides, please. Well, uh, what's Bruno? Um, it's not just the enemy from the movie of Encanto movie, but Bruno in this context for today, I want to say uh, it refers to beverage, especially the Sweden ones, the risky behaviors, the unhealthy food, and nutrition that are daily challenge to us. But it's also the O from the optional protocol to the convention of the rights of the child. Uh, we will see later why we should talk about this commission, about this document, and well, really why we are here <laughs> for today. So uh, this is a real challenge um, that we face individually, that we face as society. Uh, when we take decisions about our diet, but also uh, an important and sensitive topic when we try to influence our family, our friends, or our patients about their nourishment. So, however, uh, it is not easy to talk about this topic expecting to have a real impact when our voice as humans with criteria, of course, is against the voice and the noise of the marketing, um, of the advertising in social media and mass media. Uh, we should uh, understand that the big companies could be louder, uh, but not because they are right, but uh, because they have money and not just money, but the approval of the governments um, and they are really, really uh, stakeholders. So by the way, this is not a permanent fight uh, with the marketing. We don't need to establish properly a war, but agreements and regulations after a process of careful discussion. And that's why uh, we are here today because we, we, we want to congelate it. We want to, to talk about it, but to achieve this goal, to achieve this um, amazing uh, product of a uh, regulation of um, legal mark for this all this topic, we should put this topic on the agenda. And how we achieve that with the advocacy and particularly with the yield advocacy, since these topics are very important to us, we should lead this process of debate, of advocacy, and with that, we could be sure that this topic will be in the center of the agenda of the stakeholders. So let's, with the next slide, please. So yes, we are plenty of reasons because we, we should talk and sing and know and pronounce and propose about this topic. Uh, and I am using a lot of verbs and I could use even more and more and more verbs because we as young people, we have no limits in terms of expressions. If we look for the, the good side of TikTok, for example, we could see the artistic expressions in the young people. We could um, hear amazing speeches about uh, important topics. So uh, there are not just one verb for this expression. We should not just talk about Bruno, but sing, but dance about Bruno, but declare about Bruno. And there are some reasons, for example, this in this slide, uh, that um, 
are exposed in the commission document that we will see later. Uh, some reasons, and for example, that children are highly exposed to harmful products, that um, the use of their data, the data of young and the, the children of, and young people are questionable. We don't really know uh, what's going on with that data and with the, the, all the results of the marketing uh, studies that we really uh, don't understand and we really uh, can see. Um, we also know that this, all these companies are selling fun, uh, but not really fun, but um, harmful products in the name of the fun. Um, this, all this problematic just cause a reproduction of health inequities um, because it just makes big, the bigger the, the gap between the healthy and unhealthy young population. Um, also, because of the lack of regulation, as I said before, the measures that are uh, existing, that, that, that exist currently, are soft and are optional for the, for the companies. And also, this umbrella term that is called the problematic use of internet. The kids and the adolescents are exposed to the internet to every single um, type of uh, dangers, not just the tobacco, the alcohol, and the unhealthy food promotion, but also the weapons promotion, the gambling that creates the gambling addiction, and, and more. So, well, uh, there are plenty of reasons, and we could see it in the next slide about the document I already mentioned. So, this is the a future for the world children. It's just a proposal. We have that. We could have a, a lot of uh, tools to face this problem. But uh, I want to tell you about this document. It's a document from the 2020, and it's a call to action. We should take action, and hopefully we should adopt or, or promote the adoption of an, an, an optional protocol to the Convention on Rights of the Children, because um, this document could promote the regulation, the serious regulation of the marketing, and it will be a tangible and a disabled product of the sustainable developmental goals era. Uh, it could be measured, it could be monitored, and of course it will be challenging, but um, I know that if all the stakeholders, if all the organizations involved, including the youth advocacy organizations, are really committed with this goal, we should, um, and we, um, we will promote adequately um, this adoption of this optional protocol. Uh, this Mirabel, it's me trying to put all the pieces together for you uh, in this little time, in this short time. But well, um, I think that I am being clear of how I hope so. So the next slide, please. Yeah, well, finally, last but not least, uh, don't forget the power of the messages transmitted throughout the food. With Encanto, I must confess that I feel myself included, confident, and incredibly happy to see my culture, my country, and even myself represented in the big screen of the cinema. Uh, and obviously, I have run to a certain restaurant and I have asked for the kids' menu in order to have these beautiful toys. Uh, and well, that's okay, and that's funny, but it makes me think about the, the power of the marketing and its strategies to sell the products connected with the um, concepts of fun, magic, uh, and more. So let's remember that fun and magic and encanto are more than marketing strategies. Um, fun, magic, love, encanto, and all of that um, could have a real good impact in our life, and it does. Uh, it doesn't. It does not have. To, to be related with selling or buying products. So, well, let's talk about Bruno and thank you very much for your attention. Fantastic, thank you, Laura. Um, more youth voices talking, singing, dancing about Bruno are definitely critical. And um, yeah, your presentation maybe reflect on the fact that sometimes the industry dominates the narrative with all of these different tactics, but we do have to reclaim that narrative and um, point out what is being done because it is health harming. 